This is no ordinary smartphone. It's made by Land Rover, the same company that makes cars. And there's a reason we're outside because Land Rover tells us that this is an outdoor phone. So there's absolutely no point in us testing it indoors. The reason it's an outdoor phone is because of this. It's an external battery pack that has its own GPS antenna inside. So when you're out in the wilderness, like we are, you don't need cell phone reception to still get accurate mapping. Well, we're gonna give it a try as best we can. We're gonna get horribly lost in this beautiful place and see if the Land Rover Explore can get us back to our car. So we're halfway round our route and haven't got lost yet. And it is thanks to the Land Rover Explore. Or actually more specifically, it's thanks to the GPS and the ViewRanger app that comes pre-installed on the Land Rover Explore. So let's have a closer look. So as we mentioned earlier, the GPS is hidden inside this external battery pack. So there's quite a lot of foam to hold and it is quite heavy and it does get quite warm after a little bit of time, certainly when it's acquiring the GPS signal. But once it's done that, it cools down and it operates normally. We've been using this for um, probably about an hour or so and we've used 2% of battery. So it's extremely power, um, it, it does not use a lot of power with the external battery pack and the internal battery. So this is gonna last you easily for a weekend out in the wilds. And we're using the ViewRanger app here, which uses Ordnance Survey maps in the UK. They're actually pretty complicated. If you look at Google Maps regularly, then this is quite difficult to fathom, certainly for, uh, for the first few minutes of using it. But what's really handy is this little green arrow here. This constantly tells you the direction that you need to travel. So you don't really need to read this bit, you just look at the green arrow down here. What's interesting is when you take the external GPS off, the arrow turns red and it's nowhere near as accurate. It, the antenna in here is similar to what you'd get in a standalone GPS unit. So it actually works extremely well and we can see it in action when we remove the battery pack and this just then relies on the GPS signal. We haven't lost phone signal here, but if we did, then it would still continue working and you wouldn't have to worry if you're truly out in the wilds that this is gonna suddenly give up when you stop having signal. As for the rest of the phone, this uses Android 7.1, so it is a little bit out of date at the moment, and the processor is not the fastest. You're okay when you're just using the GPS and when you're just using simple apps, but we notice a bit of slowdown when using social networking apps like Twitter and things like that. That, coupled with the size of the device, we just don't feel that this is something we'd want to carry around on a daily basis. It truly is a weekend device. You're gonna to wanna to put it in your Land Rover when you're heading out with your family to do some camping for the weekend, but you're not gonna to wanna to carry it on the tube or into the office every day. It's a second device, not a primary one. It does come with some pre-installed apps. Uh, as we explained, we've got uh, the ViewRanger application. There's geocaching application as well, which is quite nice. Both of those you do have to pay separately for. The other feature we really like is this, which is the Explore Hub. And you can set up different profiles for depending on what you're doing. And it gives you key information that you would want. And these are all customizable, so you can add different tools to the dashboard because we are hiking today well walking hiking whatever we've got a compass we've got altitude we've got humidity and we could share our location as well in case we got terribly into trouble and it's quite nice to have all of this at a glance if it's things you understand that's also another thing to consider here if you're not a big hiker and you're not into doing things with certain maps and understanding all of this stuff it's probably a little bit too much. If, however, you use a standalone GPS and you've got your ordnance survey maps, you've got all those different tools, well, 
The Land Rover Explorer does it all in one and you don't need to carry 10 different things, you just need to carry this and we do quite like that. It's just a little bit more about the Land Rover Explorer itself. This is a, a tough phone, it's going to withstand sizable drops, 1.8 meters says Land Rover. It's IP68 rated so it's going to be happy uh, taking a bath in a stream or getting caught in the rain or anything like that. This is magnetically attached onto the rear so it's kind of like the Moto mods and you just sort of slide it down into place and then slide it out of place to take it off. It's really nicely made. Land Rover says they're going to make additional modules. Um, at the moment I don't think there are any available and you get this as a pack. So this is called the Adventure Pack and you get the phone itself, you get the GPS and additional battery that adds 3620 milliamps of battery to the 4000 milliamp hour battery inside the phone and you get this monstrous case as well with a carabiner attached so you can strap it to your backpack uh, and presumably never lose it although I think you'd be hard pushed to lose something this size anyway you've got lovely textured buttons these are nice and easy to find even with gloves on the screen is designed to work with wet hands so it really is proper outdoor stuff in terms of photography, you've got a single 16 megapixel camera on the rear. There's an 8 megapixel selfie cam. Um, the screen is 5 inches, but it's only HD definition, so you're not going to be watching much video and being impressed with the quality on here. Although for regular stuff that we're doing here, it's fine, and it's been good for the mapping too. We've not had any issues with that in terms of looking at the screen in sunlight. The phone's solidly built, but it is quite expensive. This is £600, that's about $800 for the Adventure Pack itself. So you're going to have to be pretty committed to go out and buy the Adventure Pack and the Land Rover phone and then use it for your weekends out and about. That's it back to civilization using the Land Rover Explore and it's actually been a great experience. We've walked around, we took a wrong turn because we weren't paying attention and this guided us very quickly back onto the right path and if we were using Google Maps it's a great big bit of green so it wouldn't have really done the same thing. That means we do recommend this if you're an outdoorsy person and you're going to use it at the weekend. If you're in the office, well, this is a whole lot better. Music